Question number three. Calculate the de Broglie wavelength for two. Two. Okay, I was so confused. Two kilo electron volt of of photon and electron. So remember, there's two. Uh, I mean, the formula for these two to calculate the de Broglie wavelength is not the same for photon and electron, lah. Okay. So the photon punya energy, we know it is calculated using two. Eh, what's that? Okay. Um, the energy of this photon is two kilo electron volt, which is one point six times ten negative nineteen. So we we are converting this into joules. Okay, negative sixteen joule. Okay, and then. The energy of photon is calculated using this equation, h over lambda. So, rearrange for lambda, you should get 6.63, negative 34, 3 times 10 to the power of 8, which is the speed of light, divided by the energy just now. So, you should get the de Broglie wavelength to be equal to 6.22 times 10, negative 10 meter. Okay? And then for electron pula, the energy of an electron is uh, again the same, which is 3.2 times 10 negative 16, I just know, 16 joule, okay? So for this one, uh, we are going to use this equation, 2m. Okay, so where did I get the kinetic energy? Is we know that the kinetic energy is equal to E electron times the voltage. Okay, so from there, uh, you will then apa tu nama dia? Just substitute all the values lah. Okay, so you should get kecapan nine point eleven negative thirty one, three point two negative sixteen. Uh, so you should get the de Broglie wavelength to be equal to, sorry, two point seven five times ten negative eleven meter. All right. So that is on question number two.